I'm just ready to jump in the air and shoot things with a rocket. I'll fucking go. Dude, this is wild. This is wild that they want us to defend eight planets. I wake up to see what's going on, and it's just a rata prime has just been completely overrun. Like, just destroyed. I wasn't on that much yesterday, though, so, like, I missed out on what was going on on the world map. Yeah, I jumped into one game, and that's it. I didn't even read the major order. I was feeling way too sick to play yesterday. So oh, like, you uh, sound much better today. Um... Yeah, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. I'm feeling pretty decent. I'm hoping to stay that way. I was just like, oh, no. I was panicking. I'm like, dude, I gotta feel good today. I don't have, I don't have any videos to post. There's somebody out there that needs me more than just democracy. Yeah. I love me some content. Let's see if I can hide my mech away from the rest of the squad. Calling down a walker. That's your grenade launcher, right? Yeah. Sorry, I was changing the volume. For some reason, the volume didn't save last time I played. The music was blasted. Yeah, I adjusted my volume and stuff. I had 20% gain on uh, my videos, and then I had the gain turned up on my Blue Yeti, and I felt like my voice was too loud, and I had some complaints, like multiple complaints from people who watch Forever Winter, or like, there needs to be some better audio balance. Can't hear the music. I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna fix this. Yeah. Now it sounds a lot better to me, even. Because I was listening to my old recordings, and I have to turn it down because my voice is too booming. I was like, okay, it's better. Let's see if they give us some bugs this time. That guy just closed the door. <laughs> Did he? Okay, oh. he's like... <laughs> well, I'm not going on that side, so... Calling down support weapon. Support weapon. There's a recoilless here, nice. Really? Uh, just a recoil us with no rockets to it. I'm out. Ow. Who the hell just hit me? There's mortars. I was nowhere near. You are definitely oh, near mortars. You're definitely near mortars. You are <laughs> yeah, currently I being definitely... mortared. <laughs> you have been mortared. <laughs> what I is had to worry about the mortars. <laughs> I had to worry about the rockets. Oh my god, that is hilarious to watch, by the way. You're like, what hit me? Oh man. Meanwhile, I just face planted into a fucking cargo container. I must get closer. Give me inside, give me inside. Quick shot. I'm out. <laughs> oh. I got you. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm like stun locked. I'm out of ammo. Ah, ah, ah. Mortars. Maybe mortars wasn't such a great Switch idea. Out. <laughs> Makes it more fun. By ragdolling on the ground dying, you'd be more fun than yes. <laughs> hey, better you than me. Oh. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, God, the mortars. They're, they're here. You're screaming. That's me. That's alright. Nothing but a little flesh wound. I'm out! An acid burn. Jesus Christ, man. This guy. Dude, we got an impaler? I've never seen actual bugs on this. It's been so long. Excited, I get to kill all of them now. I'm calling That's in pretty neat. Support. Got eaten by bugs. I'm like the B character in a Starship Troopers movie right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do my part. It's 
Sounds like something just broke through that door. Oh, shit. Good healer. What the? Why can't I move? Going down at support weapon. Reinforcing. I think my keyboard. My keyboard's Bluetooth and it just died. Uh. <laughs> alright. That's alright. I just plugged it in. <laughs> that cracks me up. I will always use a wired keyboard, but I'll tell you right now. Um, G502X uh, from Logitech with the power play mat. I've been using it for like, oh god, as long as it's been out. I, I don't use anything else now. Activating jump pack. I got a new keyboard. I don't even know what the hell brand it is, but uh, it's three-quarter size, and it messes up my typing because it's so it's a, just a little bit smaller. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I got a pretty basic one. I bought like a Keychron sort of keyboard. It's very basic, a big, heavy aluminum keyboard. No frills. It has RGB, but it's like so like low like, low profile, like, you would never know it has it until you turn it on. So you can run it like a completely basic keyboard if you want. Fucking love it. I just stick to what works. I've got the MX Cherry Reds, the pretty standard... standard mechanical keyboard stuff. Yeah, that's what I was trying. I was trying to get a, a pretty decent uh, mechanical keyboard. I did have an old Logitech that finally died on me. I remember I had a um, really cool keyboard back then. It was like Logitech G17. And it had yeah. like a little LCD screen on it that you yeah. could configure to pull like uh, like temperature and usage stats. So instead of using MSI Afterburner and Reba Tuner Statistics Server to show my performance overlay, I had it on an LCD screen. Dude, I can't see anything. On my position. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of this guy. I wish this recoilist had actual ammo. That's funny, I'm all over the place though. I have like different peripherals for everything. Whatever works. I think a lot of people are like that. Like I like Logitech Mice. I like my Keychron keyboard. I've got uh, these 99 Classics headphones, which I hear are very bass heavy headphones. And they're like a dual cable one, so they're, they're really fucking, oh my God, they're so nice. When I first got them, I set the stuff up wrong. I had a, um, I had an amplifier and a ground noise isolator, and the ground noise isolator was shit. So it was actually making all of the sound garbage. And I, people were talking about how these headphones were bassy. And I'm like, no, they're not. They're, they're, they have like no bass. I took out the ground noise isolator and the headphones unlocked their true potential. It was like I literally just went up and like from a two yeah. star headphones to like five star. Ground noise isolators uh, knock off the bass. Yeah, it was horrible. It was absolutely yeah. horrible. I was in car audio for quite some time, and oh, cool. that was one of the downsides of ground or uh, noise isolators. I uh, oh grenade. I'm speaking oh. of, speaking of car audio. I just got um last year I went and I got a fucking a whole fucking setup and got a 10 inch subwoofer. I just want cool ones, one of those little like uh isolated boxes that's just by itself. Yeah. In my back seat. Oh man, it's fucking shit jams. This was in, in the early 2000s, though, when it was really, really popular. Now, a lot of cars come with pretty decent systems. Now, or all you, all you gotta do is basically yeah, throw in I a, mean, a subwoofer. My car's an 05, so it did not have a oh, subwoofer. Yeah. Oh, nope. It was nope. an 05 150. So, it was very basic. It didn't sound bad, but it didn't have heavy bass. Yeah. It was decent. Well, it's a, it's a 150. And then the uh, the other car I had, I had um, uh, what was it? I had a 2000 Sonoma, which is like the S10. Oh my god, yeah. I I put fucking uh, JBL speakers in that. That shit was bumping. That's the whole reason I listened to electronic and synthwave music because it's such a small cab, and Happy to have the, and to have those speakers in there, I didn't even have a subwoofer. That thing fucking jammed. Oh my god, it was super heavy bass. It was amazing. Because I, it's a small cab. 
you put you put in a, a, little, a little ported box, you'd be surprised how much base amplica amplification you get. It was so cool. I'll always miss that truck. The uh, frame on it snapped. It was so old, so rusty. I would get inside, I'd kick it. I'd kick the rust off. It would just fall out of the ground. What, one of my first cars I put a system in was an old Delta 88, where the doors were actually rusted so bad, you could actually peel the bottom out and reach in and unlock it. <laughs> That's how rusted it was. Oh. I heard you like mortars. Yeah. Why do I keep on placing the mortars? <laughs> this guy in the HMG needs to be fired. There's just an alive terminated. Yeah, now you're shooting at him now that he's fucking dead. You're checking to see if they're still alive. <laughs> Pulse check. I think it moved. Shoot it. Oh, that's a nice Going little bug. Down a support weapon. Your uh, support weapon. commando is just sitting there in air. Oh yeah, that's an old bug. That's, that happens with Eats as well. Hey, there goes a the missile. Dude, they made these missions too easy, I'm sad. Somebody yell! Somebody yell at me in the comments if I'd forget to name this video "Terminated Chill." Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Is this recoil's got a rocket in it. Ah, oh, it doesn't. Unfortunate. No, I picked it up multiple times. Oh, did it have a rocket? No, I just threw it on the ground. Oh, okay. It's gonna go back. Calling down a walker. Uh oh, here comes a walker. That's mine. That's mine. Ten my cape is all fried. Are we? I can't believe this is uh. Level 10. Level 10 is bugged, I think, for this game mode. I really think it is. My, I'm leaving. I'm gone. <laughs> cool. You going to the mountains? Yeah, I'm leaving. Diver, you are going outside the That's the edge of the map. To make it even easier. I'll just stick to I, pro right I probably don't even need both arms. I could just fire one right now. Go step on some bugs. Just <laughs> God, I hope they put more vehicles in the game. I love stomping around in vehicles. Did HE one have any other vehicles besides um, the Um, so there was tanks? another. There was um, there was one tank called the Bastion tank. It was a two-man tank, uh, with yeah. a like a forty-five degree cone for the uh, gunner. And when you yep. upgraded it, it would get a coax. So it started with just tank shells, and then it upgraded to have tank shells and a coax. Um, there was a motorcycle with a side cart. There was another mech called the Lumberer that had a flamethrower for one arm and an anti-tank rifle for the other. Oh, that was um, nice. Missing anything? There was the Patriot, and it's a little bit different. There was the XO-48. Instead of, like, explosive auto cannons, it had more, like, ballistic ones. Like ballistic pierce ones. Um, Going down fortifications. Man, if I'm missing something, I'm gonna hate myself. I know there's the three mechs, the motorcycle, and the tank. Oh, there's the APCs. There's two different APCs. There was one that was like, uh, and like there was one that was anti-tank, and then one that was mostly like machine gun based. And they had like stalwarts mounted on the side for side a, gunners. A, a real act. Oh, a real APC that actually carries troops. Like, it actually has, uh, you could actually jump on it. Yeah, it was a real armored APC that you get inside. Now, I will say, early on in the game's uh, development, uh, 
it was leaked that there's an APC in the game files, and there's also another leak that there's some sort of model for a Bastion tank, but there's been no real uh, talk of either coming into the game. And I'm not sure where an APC would really fit in this game because of the map size, unless they make some bigger maps or higher difficulties where it makes sense, because otherwise it's gonna... It'll make the low difficulties pretty easy when you can just pile into an APC and drive around. And in the yeah, high difficulties, I'm too. not sure it's how good it's going to be because on bugs, impalers are going to kill an APC probably. And on uh, bots, they're going to get too much gunfire, too many rockets, they'll probably explode and die. So unless oh there's like God, more century. reason to traverse a planet or the planet's really hard to traverse, I don't know where an APC fits into the game. Oh, there was a buggy, too. There was a leaked buggy. Oh, my God, it was cool. It had, like, a machine gun on it, and it looked like a two- or three-seater buggy. Like, if they actually put this leaked shit in the game, it would be awesome. Hold on. Well, I, I want to try something. Yeah. Close it. Affirmative. Oh, I'll try and get in it. <laughs> Should have recorded that. Sounds so beautiful. God damn, those doors hold up to a lot of firepower. I almost ate a grenade. <laughs> Good friendly chat. That was, uh... I was only half pay paying attention to the game. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. What? Can't tell. Are we on a Stanu? Or are we on a Rada Prime? Yeah, we're on a Rada Prime. Okay. I just got a notification that a Stanu was defended, and I'm like, the heck is a Stanu at? That's a bug planet, isn't it? I'm so confused. I have to check the map. I just jump in the game and. Astano, I think, is a cold Joker. bug planet. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have missed the main defense planet uh, by accident <laughs> in my planet selection here. Look, I just wanted to see sand planet because sand cool. I love sand planets in games, by the way. One of my favorite fucking random things. Running up and down the dunes. Sample collection below average. Below yeah, average. Okay, Below average sample collection, there's still samples down there, lady. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Yeah, I got a personal order. The completed. enemy has launched a cowardly attack against one of our planets. Where's fucking Astanu at? Defend it. I'm losing my mind. Oh, it was up there. It was under attack? Okay. Guess so. Peace out. <laughs> 